Hello guys, we meet again. This is a, a new Blender 3D series tutorial and in this series we will learn how to create a chain spike mesh object and this first part of the series we will create a, the inter wing chain first and this chains we will create from torus object it's just a simple blender default object and let's display the shortcut first and now we will add a torus object like this and we will change the dimension like oh yeah this is the dimension I want so uh, I don't want to change anymore <coughs> and go to torus parameter here change the major segment to 18 maybe like this and minor you can change to keep it to 12 and the major radius maybe point 55 and the minor change to, to like that and now we will enter edit mode and not active this visible limit selection to visible and active so select this part and drag like this let's try this like that And then back to object mode and click on smooth like that and we will use to duplicate the object we will use um, array modifier so Make sure you remove the transformation pattern first by control A and rotation and scale. Scale and then we add array here. I want to have maybe 10 fix come okay and want to shift S to closer to center like that Make sure your cor your cursor is the center of the original object torus, and then we will add empty cube.
and active the change object again and on object offset here choose empty don't forget also don't forget to click on object of offset here like that and then still select the chain object go to object data and change the rotation to 90 so now you see it will create like a chain but it's not interlink so we can change the location here maybe negative 0 0.9 oops like that <coughs> or can drag the empty yes like this now we have the interlink chains but we also want uh, the chains following have a curve like a curve pattern we can also create a pattern so the chains will have a curve next we will add a curve pad maybe this pet and enter edit mode still active the pet object and maybe like that and then we go to select the our chain object and add another modifier which is curve modifier like that and on object choose nerves path we you can see some distortion create here to fix it we can like move the that's happened because I move the pet to other locations so bring the pet to and place it inside the 
the uh, chain like this you also can edit like I'm making here you can edit the bed like I I have here and maybe you also can Just the fit type, maybe to fit curve, and like that. So when you move the nerve pad, it will add another change object see you have an more chain so that's I think that's it maybe you can play a little bit with with the count of the chain you want and the shape of the chain with this pet knobs pet you also can tilt the inter this entering chain by maybe select one of the vertex here like this and then still on edit mode and click on tilt button here so you see the chains will rotate so it will create a unique more unique shape and pattern of the chains like this Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and I see you soon on second part of this Blender 3D series tutorial. Bye!